Hi. Now, what I've got here is another identity that you might need to use. If you're given a cubic polynomial with roots alpha, beta, gamma, then if you're asked to work out a new cubic equation with roots alpha cubed, beta cubed, and gamma cubed, then you're going to, at one point, need to use this identity here, the sum of the cubes of the pairs of those roots, okay? And we can use this identity where it's got the sum of the pairs of the roots, it's got the product of the roots, and the sum of the roots in it, okay? So we can make the substitutions that we need, um, that we've worked with in the past, okay? For the sum of the roots, some of the pairs of the roots, and the product of the roots. So what I want to do now, though, is just show you, in case you're not given this identity, how we can prove it, okay? So here we go. What I'm going to do is take the sum of the pairs of the products of roots, okay? Alpha, beta, plus alpha, gamma, plus beta, gamma, and cube all of this result. So it's just gonna mean writing this out as three brackets first of all, okay? Like that. Then I'm going to just take the first bracket, okay, here. I've written it slightly to the left here. Um, normally I'd like to have everything drilled down there, but there's just not gonna be enough room. so. Do bear with me on that one, okay? So I've just written it slightly out here to the left, that first bracket. Now we're going to need to expand these two brackets. So first of all, I'm just going to multiply by alpha beta to each of these three terms there. If you do that, you're gonna get that result there. I've color coded this as you'll see later uh, why. It just makes it easier to see what I'm doing, okay? Then we go on and do alpha gamma times each of those three terms. And that gives me this result here, okay? And finally, beta gamma times each of these three terms. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm gonna group up the terms in this bracket. And if we group up those terms, this is what we're going to get, okay? You can see I've written the first three blue terms here at the front here, okay? This is the sum of the product pairs of squares of the roots. And then you can see that I've got two of these red terms, two of the green terms, and two of the brown terms, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna factorize these last three terms in this square bracket, okay, here. So if I do that, then you're gonna get this statement down here, okay? Two lots of alpha, beta, gamma, and then you've got, in this last bracket, the alpha plus the beta plus the gamma. Next, what I want to do is just expand the brackets now. And what I'm going to do is do alpha, beta, times these first three terms here, okay? So I'm gonna do this in a slightly different way, but alpha beta times each of these three terms here. If you do that, you're gonna get this result. Then I'm going to go on and do alpha gamma times each of those three terms. That's gonna give you this result here. And then next, beta gamma times each of those three terms. Okay, that gives you this result. And finally, I'm going to multiply all of this bracket, but just leave the terms in the bracket with all of this term here, leaving those values in their brackets. Okay, so if you do that, two lots of alpha, beta, gamma, and then alpha plus beta plus gamma there, and then I've multiplied that with all of the, that bracket, okay? Next, what I want to do is this, okay? I've just copied down 
several of these terms as you can see okay right those three terms there with the squiggles underneath okay this is the sum of the product pairs of cubes of the roots alpha and beta and then I've copied this last term in okay there that leaves me with all these other terms up here and what I'm going to do now is start to factorize them in pairs as you'll see if I take these two terms here that I've underlined in red you can see that I have written this as alpha beta times all of alpha beta gamma and then it's alpha plus beta so if you do alpha beta alpha beta gamma times that alpha you're going to get alpha cubed beta squared gamma which is this term and then when you multiply that with the beta you're going to get that term there okay and you'll notice I've spaced this out and you'll see why again in a moment okay now what I'm going to do is a similar thing on the remaining terms I'm going to pull out this pair okay the ones I've highlighted here in blue I've got alpha gamma here this time alpha beta gamma and then I've got alpha plus gamma so you can check that out you'll get these two terms when you expand this and lastly I'm going to put this final pair in which I've highlighted in green okay by pulling out beta gamma and then the alpha beta gamma and then in brackets here just plus beta plus gamma so I've got these spaces here for a reason what I'm going to do now is just put something in for convenience I'm going to put gamma in here I'm going to add gamma in there but if I put plus gamma in there I've created a term which isn't in what we had up here so I need to take it away and so when you expand alpha beta alpha beta gamma with the gamma here you're going to get alpha squared beta squared gamma squared which I then have to take away and if I follow this through again on this term here and I put plus beta in then I'm going to need to subtract alpha squared beta squared gamma squared okay the result that I would get when you multiply this with the beta and I'm going to do much the same here I'm going to put alpha in here and I have to subtract alpha squared beta squared gamma squared okay to balance everything right now all I need to do is simplify this okay and if I simplify this okay I've got my first three terms up here one two three I've got this term written down here but across these three terms up here I can pull out a common factor and that is alpha beta gamma times alpha plus beta plus gamma all right and then in my final bracket I just need to write alpha beta plus alpha gamma plus beta gamma as you can see here and then subtract the sum of these three terms okay so I've got minus three lots of alpha squared beta squared gamma squared and then I can rearrange this okay I can rearrange this and make alpha cube beta cube plus alpha cubed gamma cube plus beta cube gamma cube the subject okay I can group together these two terms there'll be three of them now so when I rearrange this I end up with minus three lots of that term okay and then on this term here I'm going to be adding that to both sides of the identity and you can see that I've rewritten it now as three lots of all of alpha beta gamma all squared okay and so there's our identity just in case you're not given it that's how you go about proving it okay so hope that was useful to you if so do give us a like hopefully you'll subscribe to my youtube channel and thanks for watching okay hopefully see you in another video